I've never been a fan of the 1970s liturgical ditty, Come As You Are. It is sometimes sung before communion at Mass. The problem is the implication that there's no need to change or improve. But the whole rhythm of the Mass teaches us otherwise. Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa. Lord, have mercy, three times. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Today's gospel makes it clear. We cannot approach the altar of sacrifice or the table of the Lord in just any old way. If you are offering your gift at the altar, we're, t we're told, and there, remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift and go first to be reconciled with your brother. St. Paul adds this dimension to the teaching. If you eat and drink the body and blood of the Lord without discerning what you are doing, you eat and drink judgment upon yourself. The fathers of the church speak to us of the sin of sacrilege. Now, in April of the year 390, the Roman emperor Theodosius sent his army to crush a revolt in Thessalonica. The soldiers slaughtered 7,000 people without trial. So innocent and guilty perished alike. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Now, when the emperor and his entourage tried to attend mass in the cathedral of Milan, Ambrose the bishop rebuked the emperor. Let to take responsibility. You're the emperor. He told him to go home and do penance. Well, Theodosius, we are told, had good formation, and he responded to that, and he went home weeping and sighing, says the historian Theodoret. He knew he had blood on his hands. He needed time to make reparation before receiving his Lord in Holy Communion. Ambrose demonstrated himself to be a good shepherd. He cared about the soul of Theodosius and his spiritual well-being, his eternal salvation. If only more bishops had the courage of Ambrose, if only more public figures wept for the scandal caused by their sins before approaching the altar, if only you and I could weep for our, for our own sins and for the sins of others, the gift of tears. The angel of Portugal asked the children of Fatima to make reparation. Children, little children, innocent, innocent ones. Not for their own sins, but for the all the outrages, sacrileges, and indifferences by which the Lord is daily offended, said the angel. Holy Mary, cloud of Carmel, grant us the gift of tears so we can make reparation for our own sins and then for the sins of others who approach the Lord carelessly and without discernment.